Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series where today we are having a look at the Drivables of the Commonwealth Boats mod which is being made by user blah blah de blah blah and what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is something oh my, I have been wanting for so long in this game considering, you know, Boston area, tons of water and that is actual usable boats and this mod makes me so very happy though for a lot of you out there this may sound familiar to you both the name of the mod as well as the mod maker and that is because a while back we had another video on this channel that was for drivables of the commonwealth semi trucks which was of course also made by blah blah de blah blah and basically did the same thing that boats is gonna have here today for us except of course for semi trucks and you know land-based movement now we have boats for ocean based and that is wonderful so how you get started in this whole boats mod is actually rather quite simple once you do load up the mod you will have a quest which will first take you up to this location here croup docks now at that location you will find a book a boat workbench as well as your first boat to start experimenting with. But that isn't all. There are five other books after that to go and discover around the Commonwealth, which will help you build bigger, better, cooler looking boats rather than just the what is referred to as the junk boat. And so in total, there are six books to find. And uh, yeah, when you have all of them, you will be able to build at any one of your settlements a boat mechanics toolbox here which is pretty simple if we just go in to our workshop mode and head all the way down to a new special category which is a small edition drivables boats now you have to hit up twice as this first up is uh, nothing and then we have this where we can build the mechanics toolbox like this one here we also have another mechanics toolbox which will bring the nearest boat nearby to it we then have of course the boat which you must build so let's actually just pop one of those into the world right there and oh boy i just noticed the size of my settlement here <laughs> oh god and then we have a number of boat guards now i'm not really going to go into these because uh we did kind of go through them in regards to the semi trucks mod and in fact i probably should say now there are going to be a couple of things i'm kind of going to gloss over because we did talk about them in the drivables of the commonwealth semi trucks mod so i will include a link to that video as well so you can see things like the boat guards but basically you build these things and they they guard you and your boat awesome and that is what we have in there so let's actually uh oh, no no don't want to store the boat <laughs> didn't mean to do that and uh tap out of that and now that we have this basic boat if we actually do try to ride it nothing is going to happen. In fact, we're going to get this little thing here telling you that there's nothing to hold the boat up or, of course, stop it from sinking, which, you know, isn't a good idea. Basically, this basic boat is a piece of junk, and quite literally, it's called the junk boat. And so you actually have to build a couple of things, uh, such as an engine to propel it and also a boat skirt to help keep it floating. And then, you know, you want other things, little accoutrements like seats and guns, etc., to build onto it. Now, all of those things are in the mechanics toolbox. So, if we go into here, we see the different kind of boats that we can build parts for. Uh, then down here we have antennae that we can build into boats to track them on the map. Boat awnings for you know having a nice covering over your head, different boat bodies, so you can actually create more than just the junk boat. We then have ornaments, engine upgrades, front control areas, guard deployments, which, you know, create or, uh, you know, spawn out those boat guards, guns, boat homes, just like with the semi-trucks, we can actually pop on a capsule in the back to have a mobile home with us. And then we have areas like middle rear deployment, raft deployment, rear propulsion, boat seats, skirt and hover, and boat tool kit here, which, you know, 
all good things to have. Now, the main things we're going to go over is, you know, just some basics of the parts again, because we've gone over a lot of this in the Semi Trucks mod. So we have the junk boat down there. So what we're going to need, as I said, is a method to propel it. So we can go into the uh, section that's just for the junk boat and grab any one of these different engines here, which I've already built some, so those are in my inventory, and these will propel it. We can then also build one of those antennae in here just for the junk boat to track it on the map. Same with those awnings, which actually add some energy resistance, but also, you know, a nice little area for you to get out of the, out of the sunlight of the, you know, I don't know where I was going with that sentence, frankly. You know, an awning to give you some shade. There we go. That's a much better way to actually phrase that sentence. The boat skirts, which will actually help keep the boat afloat. And in different colors here, we then have the junk body, because you can't actually switch out the bodies. More on that in a moment. Those various ornaments. Engine upgrades, which are always fun. A nice little front metal cockpit area that also has a gun, which is great. A boat horn that, uh, you know, is useful, and your dog will also, you know, get up on top behind the horns, which is always fun. More different upgrades here, including ones that'll cause the boat to spit out fire, things like that. A boat raft, which is quite interesting. If you remember back with the semi-truck one, you could actually add a workshop onto the truck, which you could then use to build yourself a little encampment, etc. You have the same thing here, but since you're on a boat, it's kind of hard to build around you, so you can actually deploy a raft, which you can then build on top of, which is quite interesting. And then we have more prop engines, fans, seats for you to sit on, and then more flotation devices, the boat workshop I was just mentioning to build things, and those capsules for you to make a home in, which is always great. And finally, some different fun weapons for you to protect your boat with. And then finally, that guard deployment system, which will spawn those boat guards to protect you. So, that is the stuff on the junk boat. We have similar things for the hover boat, a wooden boat, sailboat, and fishing boat, which I'll show off the different uh, bodies for that. Now, how to add these things on is pretty simple. We just gotta go to the boat and hit R to do stuff. And we got a whole thing right here that talks about the different options we have. And again, I'm kinda gonna gloss over a lot of these because we did it in semi-trucks. But let's go to equipment and storage. That's how we actually add stuff to to our boat. So we want to do is equip ride, and that'll bring us in here. So right now we have that junk boat body, and we need to go over to apparel, which is where we'll find all the parts we've created. So let's add on an engine to this thing, a uh, barrel skirt for flotation, and I believe that's all we need for the basics. Let's uh, just pop those on, so of course equip them, and then uh, simply tab out, and hit ride. And there we go. Our screen fades to black to, you know, not show the, oh god, awful animation of getting on the boat. And there we are. We are on a boat. <laughs> it's kind of listing to one side, but I think that was more because of uh, the shallow waters there. And there we are. Yeah, we have a boat that we can go around the Commonwealth in. And that, that is freaking wonderful. And so all you need for the basics is the boat body, the engine, and a flotation device. Now you can see I do have my gun there, which we can't shoot, but that is me trying to hold my shotgun, which you can kind of see actually kind of gets torn apart a little bit mesh-wise. And uh, yeah, we drive around by, you know, moving forward with the W key and uh, then moving left and right with A and D. Hitting S to reverse actually doesn't work, it just makes you go forward as well. And uh, yeah, you can also just keep holding W and turn the camera and the boat will turn in that direction. So that is how we actually do go around. Now, if we get back to the shore here, we can actually take a look at some other things. Now, of course, I do have another boat over here that is actually a hover boat, which is intriguing because of course, the hover boat, if we fade to black again, is not just limited to water. It is, of course, a functioning boat, so we can kind of go around there. But since it is a 
hovercraft, we can also actually bring this one onto land. There we go. Perfect. If we tried this with the other boat, it actually would just stop in its tracks once it hit the shoreline. So the hover boat is actually, I think, probably my favorite because it's good on land and sea. Now, of course, on this one, if we zoom into first person, I do have the chain gun for us to use to defend ourselves. And, of course, if I get out of the boat here, we do have our back pod, which if we go up to the boat and hit do stuff, we can actually go inside of the tiny house. And there we go. We have our own portable home that we can, you know, take anywhere that just like any workshop area, we can hold it down a V. There we go and build inside of here, which is just so freaking cool. I wish you could see out the windows. I wish you could, but sadly, that is not a thing. So let's head out of the door and back into the world and take a look at the other boats. So these are the two most basic, easy to build, cheapest ones that you'll have from the start once you do find that first book, the basic junk boat and the junk hovercraft. Now there are other boats as you did see in the toolbox there. So if we go to do stuff, how you actually change it from one boat to another is pretty simple. Now remember, we used the, uh, actually let's head out of this real quick. We used the workshop mode, if I can get there, there we go, to actually create a basic boat by placing one of these in the water. Now, once we have it, like with this junk one, in the do stuff, equipment, equip your ride, the body is that right there. It is something you add to it just like everything else so that it has a look. Now we can add another body such as, if I actually take all of these things out, oh boy, <laughs> it doesn't like that, it's now invisible. Equip our ride here and we can add on another body, which let's see, I've got the fishing boat body. Let's take a look at that one. There we go, oh boy. Excellent, we have a fishing boat. Now I do need to say right off the bat that all the other boats besides the junk and the hovercraft are kind of still a work in progress, but we can actually ride the fishing boat without putting on any engines or anything like that because, well, it's meant to be a full-fledged fishing boat. No, oh God, don't beat ourselves. There we go. Perfect. The body of the boat's sort of in the center-ish there. And excellent, we are off and away on a fishing boat with everything built into it, which is quite convenient. Though it does have a much wider turning radius than anything else. So let's uh, exit out of this. Oh boy, there we go. And I I'm falling out. All right, go back to do stuff and take a look at the next body, which actually we can just switch them in here. So that was ah the next fishing boat, the fishing boat white. There we go. So same deal, just, you know, it's the smaller sort of fishing boat that we all know and love. And uh, again, it's still going to be able to sail without adding any additional engines or anything like that. Now, then we can go back into equipment and storage and go for... Let's see, what's the next one that I have? The sailboat! <laughs> Actually, let's go to the wood body first. That's another easier, simpler one. So let's uh, just do that. There we go. So it's a small little boat with actually a person in it, which is <laughs> intriguing. But uh, there we go. Again, this one you do or are able to just drive on your own, which is fun. There we go. This one's a little bit faster. It's a little bitty speedboat there with a permanent person in the back. <laughs> Uh, but again, on that big front area, we can add all sorts of things to it, all sorts of different additions, which is fun. And now, let us take a look at the final one, which is the sailboat. And I do believe the sailboat is currently the most finicky of all of them, because again, these other bodies are still very much a work in progress. But there we go, we have... <laughs> the full sailboat there, without a sail, I might add. But uh, yes, this one actually, we do need to actually add things before we can sail, just like the junk. 
But there we go. Those are the different body types and the, you know, bare bones basics of how this works. We've got loads of different attachments that you can make for all of the different boats. We have loads of different ornamental things. I love that we have those portable homes, the different capsules that you can add on here, which is just wonderful. Anything from a capsule to a storage crate to one of those vault tech pods. And even like with the uh, hover boat I have over here, pods that have engines on the back of them. So the pod itself is your engine. And then we have weapons, engine upgrades, defensive systems, and all of that. It is a great mod that frankly, I am just, <laughs> I am so happy we have in the game. I love boats. They are a wonderful thing. And having them here in Fallout 4, considering all the water we have around is just wonderful. I am just so ecstatic to be playing around with these. It is pretty darn fun. And I think you guys will enjoy it too. So if you would like to check out this mod for yourself, which I definitely suggest that you go and do, you can take a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for today, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course that you do come back for the next episode, when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!